So what you do for that is you go into your legs page and now you can actually see that we have values calculated in. So at BPK, when, when we reach BPK, it's approximated to w that we will be at 11,000 uh, feet and uh, we'll have an indicated airspeed of 315 knots. Um, of course that changes as the FMC um, continuously updates these um, based on wind, temperature, stuff like that. Um, waypoint after that we're going to be at uh, approximately 0.8 Mach um, at a flight level of 346 so 34,600 feet. When we reach our top we'll be at our cruising altitude of 36,000 feet going 0.8 Mach and the one after that runway 27 at Sheeple is approximately at an altitude of 240 uh, feet and sorry not <laughs> um, 11 feet below sea level at 240 knots that's not right because this is just when we actually come in for an approach we will be handling the speed or you know I like to handle the speed myself um, you don't have to do that you can you can actually program it to have to you know get you to the airspeed you want but technically if um, air traffic control if you're flying vectors air traffic control will vector you in for an approach and will give you the uh, um, th it should give you the right information for that so you know you enter it in manually the next page there's nothing on the next page so this is how you do modifications for example let's say I want to thank you very much let's say I want to change Artov um, I don't have a waypoint that's gonna be I don't have a waypoint that's gonna be, uh, that I know off the top of my head to enter in but the way you do is basically it's very simple let's say we want to do CLN let's say that's gonna be our waypoint that we need to replace it with so what you do is you type CLN in your scratch pad okay and you go over to RTOV and all you do is you replace it. You you click on it and it'll ask you um a bunch of information. So it detected two waypoints. CLN, the VOR, which is the actual one we want. It gives you the frequency and the coordinates. And CLN is gonna be a waypoint, basically a fix. So a radial. But we don't need the radial. We want we don't want to intercept the radial. We want to fly to the waypoint. So we select the waypoint. And of course, yes, it did notice a discontinuity. And the way to fix that is very simple. Just select the waypoint or the intersection or whatever under the root discontinuity. Select. Oops. So you select it, and it gets copied into your scratch pad. And then all you do is you click um, where it says then here but of course we don't have um, oh we ha it's gonna be the same waypoint so we don't you know it's not gonna it's, it's gonna uh, it's still gonna have a discontinuity because you're trying to fly to two different waypoints which are the same thing so no we don't want that um, so what we're gonna do is actually erase everything so you, this is the beauty uh, of the FMC unless you click exec it doesn't actually modify it so you do have an option to go back so that exec execute button is very very important so what we want to do now is let's say we want to do CLN but this time we'll do the fix so the radial just to show you what it looks like so we do that and now of course it d uh, notices the discontinuity you notice that that fixes at about 7,754 nautical miles away. Of course, that's not right. <laughs> we don't want to fly to that. So, again, to get rid of the discontinuity, all you do is select the waypoint bef below the discontinuity, and you until it copies into scratch pad. Then you click to the left of then, and you just see it copies everything up. Okay, so it deletes that and basically now you are you have a functional route so we can go ahead and click execute 
and it's gonna map out the root. Whereas this is a very ridiculous route because we don't want to do that. We don't want to fly to CLN then have to fly to the radial CLN which is at the waypoint I don't know where um, across the ocean. Um, so what we want to do is delete that. Delete the fix. So in order to do that we come here we have a s delete button so you click it until delete appears in the scratch pad once you click delete you can choose using your dynamic buttons which waypoint you want to delete so in this case it will be the CLN the radial fix so you delete that it will delete the waypoint you get rid of the discontinuity okay and we click execute and now we have a functional route again so you can see if I go to my flight display and I zoom out you can see that once again we have the route back the way that we wanted to initially okay so that's basically how to do modifications um, what else uh, that's pretty much it I don't know if there's other things. I'll go through these pages, like the climb page. Okay, I forgot to tell you about this one. The climb page is basically where you set your climb settings. So you have three options for climb. You have Econ Climb, which is the default settings that airlines should fly in. Economy. So, I mean, with the gas price, with the fuel prices these days, you do not want to, to fly in anything but Econ. So that's why it's there. The basically in this mode the FMC does everything it possibly can to minimize fuel consumption so it keeps the angle of attack at an optimal degree to minimize um, the consumption of fuel and in case you need to do to perform you know out of the ordinary um, situations you have max angle and max rate as other modes of flight. So you see, we have modify. We're modifying, um, putting in the mode max rate climb. We don't want to do that, so we erase. Or you can have max angle, which sets an angle of attack, the high angle of attack, the highest it can go. Bef you know, to, to keep lift and keep the aircraft from stalling. So the target speed will be 233. And you notice econ climb speed is 315 course because it's a lower angle um, so you have a higher speed now for max rate you notice it's a bit higher because the max rate is maximum rate of climb um, so it hasn't it, it's it's not it's not setting the it's like as opposed to max angle where you have the highest angle the airplane airplane could reach before you know still going at a safe um, um, airspeed uh, this one uh, makes sure it climbs the fastest it can possibly climb you know so that's that so you don't want that we go back to econ okay and that's the climb page now again you see here it's very very nicely put in order uh, so it begins with climb so you have your climb of course then then the next step is cruising and then descent so the cruising page there's nothing really to set it just tells you information such as the cruising altitude the target speed at that altitude the optimal and max altitude so optimal is 338,600 feet max is 39,000 feet and here is to top of descent it's showing uh, our top of descent the point where we start descending is going to be at 105 nautical miles and 1231 Zulu time and fuel at Eham is <laughs> yeah, disappointingly zero. <laughs> so yeah.